and you're watching Army of One TV. This is Cal from Tainted Entertainment. We are with Anton from Criminal, Pentagram, and Lockup here at Bogey's tonight. How was the show in Buffalo last night? It was cool, man. It was cool. Not a huge crowd, but the crowd were there. We're really into it. and. Uh, we enjoyed it. We're enjoying playing with Daniel Hilker because he's filling in for, for Shane. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of my all time fave bases, so imagine that. Perfect, right? Yeah. Perfect. How did it all come together with you joining Lockup and, you know, there was a story behind that? Yeah, well, um, when Napalm Death went to play in Chile in uh, 97, I think it was. We played together, they played together with my band Criminal, you know, so that's how I got to know them. I knew they were into my old band Pentagram as well, you know, so that's how the whole connection came about, you know, but uh, we we became friends, you know, stayed in contact, and then I, in 2001 I moved to Europe, and I went to see them, and we kind of stayed in touch all the time, you know, saw each other at festivals and stuff, you know, and then, you know, tragedy struck and Jesse died. And after a while, Shane approached me and said, do you want to become the new guitarist? Wow. Well, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. So uh, we took it step by step, you know. I went over to, to Sheffield Jam with Shane uh, and with, uh, with Nick first, you know. Showed him a few of my ideas, you know, riffs and stuff like that. And then we did the Domination Festival, which was our first show together. Yeah. And that went great, you know. The, the reactions were so good that the guys decided to carry on and do an album and everything. So uh, when we... We, we started writing like seriously, and, uh, and and then we recorded the album the Proper Transparent, which is out now. We got a blast. So yeah, we've been touring since then, you know, on and off because it's kind of a side project for the other guys, you know. And uh, also Thomas has got a job as a teacher and everything, you know. So we take it one step at a time. But uh, we've been to Japan. We've done uh, a Scandinavian tour recently, you know, so yeah, it's been, it's been going great. Excellent, man. Hey, I gotta say that the riffs on, on, the, on the album is just unreal. What, what were some of your inspirations that helped with the creative writing for that album? Well, I sort of tried to try to get back into the mind frame I had when I was doing Pentagram, you know, to make the riffs as evil as possible, you know, but also throwing in some of the more grindcore, hardcore slash grindcore influences you know that like stuff like terrorizer and stuff like that you know the more simple riffs you know that um, full on blast and all that you know so and uh, that and put together with because I wrote about half of the album you know in terms of the riffs and uh, Shane wrote the other half so that's that's why it's quite diverse you know it's, uh, it's Cool. A beautiful mix, man. I, I love the album. Thanks, man. Uh, how would you compare it to some of the older albums of Foot Block Up? Well, I think the the style, in, in terms of, of, of the riffs, it, it's not too far removed. I mean, I've, maybe I've brought in some more of, a, of an old school thrash death metal influence, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what the guys wanted to do when they formed the band, you know, but it turned out to be just a grindcore band, you know, so now I've I've sort of brought that in that they wanted to have in the first place, you know, but uh, I don't think it's a million miles removed and if anything, you know, the the production, the better production helps to to, 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 to make it more intelligible. Even though there's a lot of shit going on, it's a million miles per hour, but you can tell what's going on. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> what, what are your thoughts on the uh, the current metal, you know, the metal scene in America as, you know, compared to, you know, Chile and the European scene. Well, I, I couldn't really judge that, to be honest, because I, I was just, when I was packing my bags to come here, I, was re I just realized that it's about 15 years since the last time I came to the oh, States, wow. you know? Okay, okay. So I haven't really, I mean, apart from what I hear, you know, fans are here and all that, but I don't really know what the what the feeling is over here, what the scene is. How's how the scene in Chile? It is, well, it's growing. Uh, it's growing always, but uh, they have a big problem over there that, uh, you know, there's so many bands coming from abroad right now, you know, from America, from Europe. And then they have a shitload of cover bands as well, you know, tribute bands and all that. So the, the local bands with original material don't, don't get to play, you know, they don't have places to play, which is, which is bad. You know? Very unfortunate. Follow us and get your Army of One TV podcast on iTunes free. 
Uh, any uh, anything new with uh, Criminal or any? Well, well, yeah, with, with Criminal, we just uh, released our new album called Aquilave. It's been out for a few months now, and uh, the reaction has been very good, I must say. And uh, we're going back to Chile with it now. Then uh, apparently we're gonna play at this festival in the UK next month. And uh, we got a couple of festivals in Germany in the summer, you know, so yeah, stuff's any, happening. Any chance of getting a criminal over in the United States? We've been trying, shows? we've been trying. We've had some contacts with people who are willing to help us out a little, you know, and um, we'd, we'd be up for it, you know, but it involves a lot of cost. And, uh, you know, the money is always the, 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 the issue, you know, and, and, uh, and we don't have a label over here, which in terms of, you know, distribution, it almost doesn't matter anymore because everybody down the books is stuff anyway, you know. Know, but, but you know, in, uh, considering a label more of a bank who will advance you money to tour or whatever, we don't have that. So, so um, well, let's we will see. The best. We'd love to see you over here. Yeah. Man, how, we'll about, uh, how about about Pentagram? Anything new going on there? Yeah, yeah. We well, we got back together in 2009 and we did the Wacken Festival and a few other shows in in Europe. We did uh, Norway and the UK. You know, we went to Germany and everything. And uh, it all went great, and we all were like, well, we didn't get a chance to do an album in the 80s when we were together, so why don't we try now, you know? And uh, we started writing, and uh, we were really happy with the, with the material. It really sounded like the old pentagram, you know? So we were all fired up and ready to go, and then some problems arose, which I don't want to get into too much detail, you know? But we, we gave it a shot at recording in January last year, but we had to abort the whole operation, you know, so it was, it was a bit frustrating at the time. But we've, we've uh, all I can say is we, we're doing it again now with another drummer. We've had, we've had to replace our old drummer and um, and we're uh, in the process of recording it actually. I'm going to Chile with Criminal yeah, next sure. month. Oh, bullshit, this one. <laughs> and, uh, and we're going to take the chance to, to supervise the recording of the drums, you know, and then take that back home with me and, uh, and finish the stuff in the, in the, in the criminal basis studio in, uh, in England. Excellent. That's got to be such a rush. Yeah. But what kind of which you feel when you're on, you know, playing popular in front of so, so many fans? How, how did that feel? It's, it's crazy. I mean, I used to get quite nervous, but now uh, I'm, I'm kind of over that. You know, so just enjoy it. You know, just as long as you have a good monitor sound, you yeah. know, that you can hear what's going on. It's fantastic, man. I enjoy it. Cool. Is there any future tours with Lockup in the United States after this run? We're talking about that because now this is only nine days, all in the East Coast, you know, and yeah. uh, we'd really like to go out to California as well, I'm you know. Sure the West Coast so is dying again, for You know, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, maybe go down to Mexico as well. Oh, absolutely. So we're talking about that, but as I said, you know, we have to find the right window of time to do it. So. Um, but I'm sure we will at some point. Or maybe, maybe we will also be talking about the possibility, but that would be for next year already to do something like the Summer Tour or something oh, like that. That'd be great. Trying to be part of that, you know, and uh, we have Nuclear Blast back in us, you know, so uh, that, that might be, might be uh, a certain chance. Excellent, man. We'd love to see it. I know the fans are loving it. The response is great. You know, I, I wish you luck on the rest of the tour. Cheers, man. Do you, do you have anything you'd like to say to your fans out there? Uh, toca rápido, muere. <laughs>